nice to see you through the fence, Trevor. It's nice to see anybody anywhere these days. Um, how are you doing out there in the bullpen? Doing all right. Not bored yet. Well, well that was going to be my first question. I mean, are you out there for the entirety of the game? And, and if so, what, what exactly are you doing out there for the first six or seven innings? I mean, usually usually a few of us don't come down until maybe the end of the second or the third just, just because we got little routines or like seeing trainers and stuff, and a lot of people are seeing the trainers before the game. So, uh, you know, we try to take advantage of when no one else is in there. Um, but, uh, yeah, to come down, I, I immediately go to the iPads and make sure I'm brushing up on the, uh, on the scouting report that I already went over, just keep it fresh in my head, and then just hang out for a couple innings. And then around the fifth, sixth, start moving around and try to gauge for where the starting pitcher is at pitch-wise and what kind of uh, uh, roles are coming up and who's going to who, who probably will be and just uh, basically stay on high alert until the last pitch is thrown. Trevor, that, uh, point on. Trevor it's Ronnie. I, um, I didn't spend a lot of time in the bullpen but every time I did there were a lot of high jinx mm -hmm. depending on uh, the kind of game that the uh, starting pitcher was pitching. Do you still have that out there. Yeah a little bit. Yeah. Uh, uh, some guys just kind of sit quietly and, and some guys are moving around and talking the whole time and it's a lot of share you know stories uh, a lot of talking <laughs> about guys we played with or, or asking Ricky about guys he played with because you know he's got all kinds of stories so um, <laughs> that's usually the default and then uh, um, you know it's hard to see down here too so sometimes we're just asking each other what happened. <laughs> <laughs> see, that, that was going to be my next question. Uh, I mean, how much can you see? Can you can you see what type of pitch is being thrown? Can you see hitters' reactions? Can you gain any knowledge of what's going on in the game from from that vantage point? I'm going to be honest, guys. You can't see anything. Uh, <laughs> actually, from where I'm standing right now, this is the best view. I, but like, I can at least see uh, left field and whether or not like every single ball hit over there looks like a home run. We have no idea uh, uh, where it went. Or, or whatever, but our angle's so weird; it's it's hard to tell, especially with a lefty up. If in, out, up, like no idea if anything's a strike. So we just yell as if everything should be a strike. And, uh, uh, just gonna play it safe that way. Uh, Trevor, it's Keith. Uh, you are one of eight guys out in that bullpen to throw from the right side. Do you feel that you're that? Are you getting enough work? Do you want more work? And if you don't get the work, so you have some, what do you do to stay prepared? You just do everything you can. I mean, you know, there was, uh, in terms of like not getting enough or getting too much, uh, we have kind of a little bit of a saying that there's a little taboo around saying one thing because you're going to get what you want real quick, probably. <laughs> uh, so it, it's just it's just trying to to, to manage, um, you know, a game the flow of games change. You know, you can go six, seven straight games where it's a two-one game every time, and then you can go a few games where. You know, you guys put up a bunch of runs, or they put up a bunch run, of runs. God forbid, and, and and you just your spot doesn't come up. So, um, getting a little, I'll never say no to a little extra rest, especially you know in June uh, um, of a long, long season. So, especially with the the, the the run we have coming up right now, that we're start just starting, 